What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about a few things here related to Jeepers Creepers in this video today. So when it comes to Jeepers Creepers, we know that we just got Jeepers Creepers 4. Trash, abysmal, throw it away, burn it, piss on it, get it out of here. And now, of course, there's just not anything in sight as far as anything being confirmed. But I want to go over something related to Jonathan Breck from a few years ago when he did an interview from IGN before Jeepers Creepers 3 was being released. So Jonathan Breck actually did reveal. So this is just me touching on the origins. Jonathan Breck actually apparently knows what the Creeper is. Because when asked by IGN during this interview, he said, wait, so you actually know the real answer? Yeah, he's much older, much older. He's been around a lot longer than anybody can imagine. Let's leave it at that. I think that's also why he taps into things that are so hard to define because there's a universe, universe, universality to that that is kind of deep in our bones. Um, so like when before that, he said he said that he's been like, I guess, prior to everything that's trans transpired. He would collaborate with Victor to kind of protect this secret. And he says he thinks of the idea is to really let the audience in little by little more detail at, about who it is, where he comes from. That's something that we're intentionally rolling out slowly. We both put our heads together and Victor shared where he thought it came from. And I layered on top of that. So there's something that they kind of have worked together, but they're not sharing it because it's a secret. So obviously this is from 2017. Things could change going forward, but at the end of the day, me personally, I'd rather you just not share it. I would, I honestly would rather find out from him via like a convention or something post series conclusions. So that way, even if he reveals it, when you watch the series, you still don't have an answer in context with the series. You got it after the fact. So if it's an answer that's dissatisfying, now you can at least watch the series and pretend like, okay, that answer didn't exist because they never gave it to you. It was something that was still left ambiguous, something that was left up to your interpretation. That's just my two cents there. As much as they've teased it and hyped it up, I, I don't think I want to know. I know in the, the Cathedral script, we were supposed to find out it was a Phoenix demon and stuff like that. It was going to be its own original thing because I don't think a Phoenix demon is actually anything that actually exists in any type of demonology. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. But uh, going forward from that, he also talked about the Cathedral script and what happened to it. Now, I've talked about this in another video. I'm talking about this again because there's something I want to discuss related to a friend of mine. So... When asked about the Cathedral script, Jonathan Breck said he was actually asked about a script for the fourth movie. He said, yeah, if we're lucky to have it happen, I don't know that there's a script written yet for four. We know that Salvo wrote his own four. I don't see that happening. I know that we had a script for a long time for three, he says. You're probably familiar with the name Cathedral. Cathedral got broken up into a TV series, so he rewrote three to be what you're going to see on screen on Tuesday night. But he still has Cathedral, which is written out into the first season of a TV show, and it's amazing. So that's already written and ready to go, and there's a good possibility that a TV will be spawned from this movie. But beyond that, he's already working on the script for four, and that's really going to get interesting because we have to go a whole new direction and deal with a whole new 20 three days right so we're either going to go forward or we're going to go back or we're going to go some combination of both so again the information there is related to the status of what happened to cathedral this is something we already knew it's been broken down into a tv series i've been coming on here recently and telling you that some of the rumors that i've been hearing from someone who had already told me about the court case prior to anything even appearing online is that they are trying to get a tv series going the rumor that i'm told is that they hope that it will be dealt with dealt with by sci-fi or some other major network i've also been told that they might not be wanting to do this if victor salva is involved that's understandable just as how many other people would probably start to invest if they hear that victor salva is not involved similar how horror hound got invested in the fourth movie even though that had no business being made according to the alleged lawsuit that these people landed themselves with because of their malpractice so the tv series from what i'm told could be scouting locations in new mexico the interesting thing about new mexico is that a very long time ago there was a blog up by the series creator where he highlighted that they were actually scouting locations for new mexico for jeepers creepers cathedral i think this is where they were hoping to shoot that prologue set in the old west where we want to see the creeper have a bar fight and learn how he got his uh hat his signature hat that he wears but again why i'm sharing this is because recently a friend of mine uh shout out to you 
Nick or Treat, and I'll leave a link to your YouTube channel actually down in the description. You met Jonathan Breck at the uh, scare fest that happened this past weekend or so, a couple weekends now, and you had forgotten to reach out to me, but you reached out to me this past Thursday and you said that you got Breck's autograph, which is awesome. You asked if he'd ever play the Creeper game. He obviously said yes. He said no question in your words. And then you asked about the TV series that I was telling you about potentially being development. When asked about the TV series or anything Creeper related involving Breck, he just smiled and that was it. What's interesting there, obviously that's not an outright confirmation. What, I'm, what I've also been told is that Breck is aware of the series and that's why I went to my friend when I found out they were going to be going to Scarefest because that was a chance to at least see what kind of reaction you could get out of Jonathan Breck. If Breck is aware of the TV series and under some type of a contract that, ref that restricts him from talking about it and all he did was smile, that's a sign to me that, again, the rumors that I'm being told might have some weight under them in the fact that we could be close to a TV series after this is settled, meaning the court case. Uh, I've also been told something about the court case. There hasn't been anything updated with this as it pertains to last this past month, not past month, but past couple of months in July. Nothing's been updated. That was the last time they had an appearance. And well, that was the last time they had something documented. The last time they actually had an appearance was in September, like a day after the film, the fourth film had its uh, Fathom event. So I'm being told that what they're trying to do there is work on a payout outside of the courtroom. That payout probably again will go towards Myriad Pictures since these people are in the wrong for producing this movie. And what I'm also being told is that again, when considering the fact that this film is owned or the IP is owned some part by American Zotrope. Francis Ford Coppola's company could be coming back to be involved in it. From what I know and what I've been able to research, it looks like his children oversee this this uh, company these days, so maybe he won't be directly involved with it. But as long as Victor is away, I myself am someone who thinks that there is something that can be done with this IP. If you're someone who thinks that it should be, be dead, I get that, I can respect that. I just think that again, when so much talent comes together and I get that everybody has their interpretation of what might be going on with the character, I think there are ways for us to evolve it and go away from that though, without Victor being involved. Uh, the TV series really could be coming true. It could happen very soon. Let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, so never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, so let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. I do want to end this by again saying this is not a confirmation of anything. These are all still just rumors, and my friend was able to talk to Breck, and it was interesting that he smiled about the discussion of a TV series.